Just take away any commandments that you don't like. Oh, I like eating dog, pig, cat, rat, and bat. I like it because my God is my belly. I want my belly and my, my lust of the flesh. I want that to be the rule of law. Forget what God says. No, no. I'm actually going to massage verses and I'm going to add things to verses in the New Testament that, that makes it look like I can eat bat. Let me not get ahead of, of Paul in, in this detail. Because concerning spiritual matters, brethren, I would not have you ignorant, you know that you were Gentiles, you were carried away to dumb idols even as you were led. The wherefore, this is why, wherefore, again, why for the wherefore? That is why I give you to understand, I'm giving you this so this you will understand, so that the rivers will flow together, so that you can comprehend these spiritual matters that I'm going to be speaking of. No man speaking by the Spirit of God calls Yeshua accursed. And in the synagogues where, where they want you to do the 19th benediction and curse the followers of Yeshua, you're not going to do it. These people are not speaking by the Spirit of God. These rabbis in the synagogue, they may know the Torah, but they've added thousands of, of commandments. They've taken away hundreds of commandments from Moses. And Yeshua said, do not follow the takano and the ma'asim of the Pharisees, for they say, but they do not do. They say they follow Moses, but they don't do what Moses said to do. If you wanna go into the synagogue and learn the Torah, because it's read every week in the synagogue, and this is what James said, and, and th this was uh, readily available, Gentiles could always go into the synagogue if they fit the parameters of, okay, you leave behind your, your, your pagan sun god worship, you leave behind your sexual promiscuity, we don't want you bringing your diseases in, uh, which is uh, air vile matters, anything sexual, forbidden, the man with beast, man with man, sodomy. All right, if you're gonna keep doing that, you can't even come in the synagogue. We don't want your diseases. Man with beast, that's where measles, that is where, where AIDS came from. Man having intercourse with, with apes. That's where this comes from originally with the, 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 the measles, with camels. These, no, if you're going to do that, stay away. We don't want this contamination. If you're eating animals that are, uh, are strangled and still has the blood in it, or if you're eating blood, or if you're eating abominations, no, you don't even come in, all right? But if you really are turning to God, and the foundation of this is the teachings of Moses. If you're turning to God, then show that you have repented, and then you can come in. And, and so, all right, you come in, and the Torah is read. But understand this, that the Pharisees are adding to, and they are taking away from the commandments given to us at Mount Sinai. That is their religion. Even though they're reading Moses, they don't do what Moses said to do, they're doing their own thing, they are in violation of the Torah. Rabbinic Judaism is an entire religion based on violation of the Torah. The foundational commandments in the Torah, thou shalt not add to the commandments I give you, you shall not subtract thereof. Now, basically all of Christianity is a false religion, a religion, a man-made religion based on negating the commandments of God. Oh yeah, we're all under grace. We're all under grace. Grace is not the license to violate the Torah. Read the New Testament. Read and you'll understand that God has given these commandments. Yeshua is going to rule the earth with the rod of iron according to these commandments. We as priests and kings are going to be enforcing and teaching and, 
in, in dominating this world for a thousand years when Yeshua comes back and reigns from Jerusalem. Even those who don't go up to worship the king, Yehovah Sebaot, on his throne in Jerusalem during the millennial reign, it's not gonna rain on them an entire year. His Torah is the law of planet Earth at that time. And, and you wanna be under grace and not under that? Oh, that is so insipidly stupid. But that is man-made religion. Just take away any commandments that you don't like. Oh, I like eating dog, pig, cat, rat, and bat. I like it because my God is my belly. I want my belly and my, my lust of the flesh. I want that to be the rule of law. Forget what God says. No, no. I'm actually going to massage verses and I'm going to add things to verses in the New Testament that, that makes it look like I can eat bat. This is what God calls an abomination and not even to touch their dead carcass. I'm not gonna do that. Well, I digress a little bit, but it's all in this very verse right here that the Gentiles can come into the synagogue, they can hear Moses, and they can renew their mind according to the word of God. But you have to understand that these rabbis who are saying this and having you repeat this 19th benediction, this curse against Yeshua and his followers, no one speaking of the spirit of God calls Yeshua accursed. And no one would have you curse yourself if they're speaking by the Spirit of God. They don't have the Spirit of God, they have the spirit of a man-made religion, and that is what Yeshua said. They'll cross land and sea to make one convert and turn themselves twofold more into the son of hell than themselves. That's Yeshua's verdict on rabbinic Judaism, okay? so. You need to understand that. They're to be respected like all people are to be respected, but to understand that when they speak of Yeshua, not as Yeshua, but as Yeshu, as, as he whose name shall be forgotten, may his name be blotted out is a more literal English translation, but they say that acronym Yeshu because it is an acronym, which means may his name be blotted out. If they're saying this, they're not speaking by the Spirit of God. And no one, no one can say that Yeshua is Yehovah, Yehovah Tsevaot, except by the Holy Spirit. You have to be able to put the scriptures together from Genesis 1-1 to Malachi through the end of Malachi and Zechariah, and then to understand that what Peter is saying on the day of Pentecost was that, that God has made this same Yeshua whom you crucified, who he has raised from the dead, both Yehovah and Messiah. And you can't say that unless you are led by the Holy Spirit and can put this together. And this so, no one speaking by the Spirit of God calls Yeshua cursed, and no one can really say that Yeshua is Lord, is Yehovah, Yehovah Tsevaot, who will rule from his millennial throne in Jerusalem for a thousand years, except by the Holy Spirit. Shalom, Torah fans. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Tap the subscription button and the bell icon, and I promise to update weekly with in-depth biblical research. Be sure to download the new michaelrood.tv app for both mobile and home devices for even more commercial-free content.